Hello, I'm Gianluca, co-founder and CEO of ATP Line, a young startup created with a view to make musical instruments and tools for music performance and production. And I'm here to talk to you about our first project, Keybox. What is Keybox? I'll show you in a minute. Keybox means keyboard in a box, and it's an electric piano sound module with an old school kind of soul and attitude. As simple as this with fine sounding engine that gives you the opportunity to put the magic of the vintage approach back into the modern music. What does that mean? That means that you can use Keybox not only as a modern expander or keyboard to console an input or for example your audio interface, but also as a real electric piano you can plug it straight out of the box into your or your guitarist amps or stone boxes. But wait, I can plug all of my keyboards straight into an amp or a stomp box. That's true, but look. First of all, the sounds you get by any modern instrument are created and optimized to playback through APA in stereo mode, as though the original instrument had a mono output and as if a naturally stereo version of that sound didn't exist. Secondly, despite usually getting a mono output mode, when you try to use your modern stage piano, synth or workstation through a guitar amp or stomp box, you can get in trouble because the level line output signal is way too hot for an amp or a stomp box. Also, the impedance the standard line output usually gives you can produce a different response on the processor that gets the signal in, which means you must use an external reamp box to match the right signal level and impedance if you want to send, say, your piano sound to a vintage phaser box. In other words, you can't easily get the right timbre and dynamic a good electric piano sound deserves from this signal chain. Okay, but wait again. Why do I have to run my electric piano sound through a guitar amp or effect? The answer is because of the magic you get when you do that. Because of the endless sonic possibilities you get. Because almost all the most famous and iconic electric piano sounds you can hear on some of the best recordings come from an electric piano played through an amp or a guitar effect. Because it's so much fun. Because you can build your own rig and sound and explore new pathways, and because you can pay for and carry around only what you need. In fact, when you buy a keyboard or an expander, you get a lot of things in a box and you pay for all of them. You get hardware, of course, and sounds, but also digital effects and processors, exotic functions that are optional and sometimes unhelpful inputs and outputs, and you pay for all of these things. I admit that some of these instruments are really good sounding and well priced, and sometimes it's useful to get a lot of things in a single package, but in the other end, you often pay for features you'll never use, for sounds that you don't love and for effects that you can change or edit, not deeply or completely, I mean. Of course, you can bypass all the internal effects and digital processors, run your sound out from a mono output, put into a reamp box set the right level and then use a guitar effects or amp and play your piano. But in the process, you waste time, you lose the magic, you lose a lot of money and, most of all, you lose your patience. And then? What do you think I should do if I'm a vintage piano lover that wants to get a personal and nice sound or a producer that wants to experiment with something new? I have to buy the real thing like a vintage electric piano for a lot of money, set it up for a lot of money again, and carry this heavy beast around studios or gigs? Well, if you get a chance to buy a vintage piano and you have the time to handle the setup, it's pretty good to have one. But as for carrying it around and playing it alive, I have a better, lighter and more attractive idea. You can support the production of Keybox by bugging our project right now on Kickstarter.